the Johns often comment on how the practice is one thing all the way through. And that one thing is generosity, giving. You give things, you give time. You learn to give up your opinions, finally you learn to give up your defilements. Then you even give up your attachment to good and evil. Give up all fabrications. And all the various ways of giving tend to strengthen one another. As the Buddha once said, if you're stingy, you'll never be able to make it in a jhana. And no hope for getting any of the noble attainments. Which is why we have this custom every year with the, the Gatin. They call it celebrating the Gatin the night before, celebrating the generosity of the donors. Because we want to encourage generosity, not because it comes to us. We want to appreciate their generosity to remind ourselves that whatever way we can be generous is a good thing. Start with outside generosity and it works in. You've learned that giving things to other people, even though it may seem counterintuitive when you're a little kid, all you can think about is getting. But when you give things to other people, you find that you feel happier as a result. Both sides have benefited. And then you learn how to give up your unskillful actions. That's what the precepts are. The Buddha talks about this as being a, a gift, a universal gift to all beings. You give safety. You're not going to kill, steal, have illicit sex, lie, take intoxicants. That way you give safety to others. And when you make that precept a precept across the board, that becomes a universal kind of precept, universal gift. All aspects of the training involve a gift, a giving up sometimes. To you find yourself holding back, it means you're not going to benefit from that part of the training. Say, well, I give so much and only so far and no further. Okay, that becomes a limitation on yourself when there's aspect of the training. I know when I was staying with the John Fu, he said, okay, he wanted me to be 100% Thai, which mean, meant I had to give up all my Western assumptions and all my Western habits and Western opinions about things and be willing to give his training a try, a serious try. And I benefited as a result. So when I look around and see people giving of their energy only so much and then say, okay, that's it, that's as far as it goes. It's like that story the Buddha tells about the elephant that holds its trunk back when it's fighting. It hasn't really given itself to the king in the same way. If you really give yourself to the practice, the more you give yourself to the practice, the better. That's what it comes down to, particularly with the meditation. You're going to give yourself 100% to the breath right now. You're right here. Whatever ideas you have about what you should be thinking about right now, just give them up for the time being. Say, I'm going to be here with the breath. Give it a try. What's it like to stay with the breath continually? Breath after breath after breath. And to give it full attention, not hold anything back in terms of how much you're going to plunge into the breath. Allow the breath to surround you. And you find that the less of you that's in there, and just leaving just awareness in the breath, the more you gain. This is the whole principle when you give up like this, give things up. It doesn't mean that you're going to be poor. You find that there's a lot to be gained by giving. So give yourself to the breath. Each time it comes in, each time it goes out. Think of whatever you sense in the body as being an aspect of the breath. Don't hold any other perceptions. 
and see what happens. Those sensations in different parts of the body that you accepted for having to be there because you thought, well, this is a solid part of the body and this is something that's blocked here and it's just going to stay that way. If you see it as solid, of course it's going to stay that way. But what happens if you change your perception, see it as energy, energy that could move? See what that does. Try on these new perceptions. And in some cases the block will just still be there. In other cases not. But you don't know unless you've given it a try. So give yourself to the breath. Give your thoughts to the present moment. As John Lee says, give up whatever you recognize right now as greed, aversion, and delusion in homage to the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. You think about all the good things that we've gotten from them. And where did that goodness come from? It came because they gave themselves to the Dharma, too. So in response, you want to give yourself over right now. Whatever you've learned about what you should be doing in meditation, you can do it. Don't hold anything back. Because it's through the giving that you gain.